HTML has been the driving force behind websites since the web's inception in the early 1990s, and HTML5 is the latest standard. Along with JavaScript and CSS3, HTML5 lets web developers create graphically rich websites and powerful web applications. But before you begin working with HTML5, you'll need to have a good editor, and in this video, I'll explain the various options for choosing your editor. When you're working with HTML5, there are any number of uh, options that you have for applications that you can use to develop your websites. Now, let's go to uh, the Start screen. I'll just type in Notepad. Run the Windows Notepad application. And then bring up this folder. Now, this folder contains some HTML files. I'll copy this one over to Notepad. And you can see here that it loaded fine. HTML is just plain text. It's the markup inside the HTML text file that defines how the browser is going to show this document. Now, the same goes true with uh, JavaScript files, uh, PHP, if you're doing any web-type server-based uh, application development, or CSS3 for that matter. But the problem with this is that it's clunky. Uh, you wouldn't want to use Notepad to do any serious web development. It's great if you need to quickly edit a, a single HTML file, but it's not really designed for that. Uh, let's take a look at another application, because there are a number of text editors editors, in this case this is called Notepad++, I happen to like it, uh, that actually allows you to edit your files, but it gives you sort of a one-up in terms of things like color hinting. So we can see here that different elements, HTML elements, like tags for instance, this is a tag right here. If I go ahead and click that or highlight it, you'll see that both the opening and closing tag have become highlighted. So it does that kind of hinting. It uses color coding to determine the different elements, as I said, with HTML5. Um, and it works the same way with other uh, types of documents like CSS. CSS3 or, uh, or JavaScript. It does that hinting for you. It also has code collapsing. So I can go ahead and click on these minus signs and collapse everything down. Uh, and it's, it's a great feature because often you'll get very long documents and you want to be able to sort of collapse things that you know are good. You don't need to edit them right now. You want to hide them to sort of clean everything up. So this is a nice feature too, uh, using some sort of, uh, beefed up uh, text editor like Notepad++. And there are a number of them out there. Let me go ahead and collapse that. Now, the next thing is you get into more complex applications. And I'll bring up uh, Microsoft Web Matrix. This is a free-to-use uh, web development application. And it gives you sort of the same things that we saw in Notepad++, where you have the, uh, the color coding for these different elements and the ability to go ahead and collapse sections uh, of your HTML document. So that's a nice feature. It also goes one step further in terms of giving you sort of a management interface for your HTML files. You can open up specific folders and manage your different files just by clicking on these files here. And it gives you some templates and other things that you wouldn't have uh, in an application like Notepad or Notepad++. And then finally, there are other applications, uh, in this case, uh, Dreamweaver. And I like to use this application myself. It gives you some pretty enhanced features. Now, this is a pay-to-use application from Adobe, but it's a great application for web development. It has all those things that we talked about, such as the color coding and the ability to go ahead and collapse tags. For instance, I can click there and collapse that section, do the same here, to sort of clean things up and you can double click to expand those as well. Uh, plus other things, it gives you all sorts of CSS options, the ability to work with JavaScript, PHP, Perl, all the different development languages and sort of tie everything together. It also has a sophisticated website management uh, interface that allows you to manage your site and have everything linked up to your web server if you want to. So there are a number of different options and really it's up to you depending on your workflow, what your preferences are. Uh, certainly budget's going to be an option if you want to sort of go with free-to-use applications like Notepad++ or WebMatrix. But uh, again, sort of think about how much you're going to get into that web development with HTML5 and, and uh, set that up so you've got the right applications for editing your files.